Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be going over and showing you how to install the Thule Hitching Post Pro for bike rack here on a 2022 Tesla Model 3. So the Thule Hitching Post Pro is going to be an excellent bike rack option for you and the family because it allows us to carry up to four bikes. Two main types of bike rack options on the market. We have hanging style, which is what you see here, and we have platform style. Now hanging style bike racks are typically a little bit more cost effective and they're usually a little bit lighter, therefore they're easier to get on and off the vehicle. The platform style, they're typically a little bit heavier, therefore more cumbersome and they are going to cost a little bit more money. Now one downside of the hanging style racks is that they're harder to get your bikes up and onto because you have to lift higher. But as you can see here on the Tesla Model 3, it actually doesn't really sit that high off the ground. Therefore, you really don't have to lift that high to get your bikes on the top of the arms here. Now, one thing I would like to point out here with the hanging style rack is that it's really designed for bikes that have this horizontal top, uh, this horizontal top tube. Now, this is going to cover most bikes on the market, but there are a lot of women and children's bikes that have those angled top tubes that go down to the middle of the seat post. And in which case you can still use this rack, you're just going to want to pick up an adapter bar that we sell and Thule offers. So one other exclusion is that you unfortunately cannot use carbon fiber frame bikes here with this rack due to the stress potential with the cradles and what they create on the frame. So if you have one of those, you'll need to look into a platform style rack, one that holds the bikes by the wheels. But with this rack here, we're going to get three points of contact. So we have two on the top tube and one on the bottom down here. Now this bottom one is actually an anti-sway cradle. This is going to stop your bikes from swaying back and forth, banging into one another. And if we take a closer look at our actual straps here, you can see there's multiple holes to accommodate all different kinds of uh, bike frame sizes. It's also very durable, so it's definitely going to hold up for time to come. But once we got all of our straps released, we just lift our bike up and off the rack. Now our cradles here have multiple grooves in them and if you're wondering what these are for, these are going to be designed for those bikes that have brake cables running underneath the frame there, in which case the wires or the brake lines are actually going to fit inside these slots so they're not going to be scratching up the bottom of the frame on your bike. And I'll also point out that these cradles are pretty well stuck onto these arms here. They don't move around like some of the older generations racks did, causing problems. So one great feature about this rack is that we can actually open the truck without folding the bike rack down. You can see here, due to the design of this particular hitch, which is a stealth hitch on this Tesla here, you don't have to worry about tilting the rack away from the vehicle, therefore you don't have to take your bikes off in order to get into the trunk here. Well, a couple of measurements for you here. We're gonna measure the distance from the outside of the trunk to the outside of the arms. You're looking at about 43 inches. Now, some people have tight parking spaces, such as a garage that they park in, in which case that wouldn't work for them, but that's totally fine. You can actually still fold the arms down like so, and we can actually re-secure them here. And this is gonna give us a much smaller footprint. This is gonna help with not only tiking, uh, parking in tight parking spaces, but if we're gonna be leaving the rack on the vehicle, we're gonna wanna drive around in this position here. It also helps make for a more compact storage. And our new measurement to the outside of the cradles is about 22 inches. So this isn't required here for the Tesla with our particular hitch combo, but we can, should we ever have the need to, maybe we have some larger items, we can tilt the mast out away from the vehicle here to allow for a little bit more clearance. There's a built-in stop there so you don't have to worry about it hitting the ground. And this goes without saying, but you do have to have your bikes off there when you fold it away. You can see here, we have a ton of room to get anything we need in or out of the trunk. And when we're done, We'll just simply fold it back up into position and re-secure your pin. Very simple. In regards to weight capacity, it's going to be 35 pounds per cradle here on this bike rack. Now, keep in mind, you can't carry bikes heavier than 35 pounds, even if you only have a couple bikes, because each of the cradles are rated for 35 pounds individually. So if you do have any heavier bikes, you'll have to opt for a platform style rack. Now at the bottom of the rack here, a couple things we want to point out is number one, this rack does utilize an anti-rattle hitch bolt. So when we tighten that bolt down, that's going to snug up the connection inside the receiver tube, which is going to help your bike rack from bouncing around in the receiver tube. It's also going to keep your bikes more stable on the rack. If we go ahead and give that a good shake here, you can see there really isn't any movement inside the receiver tube. We're actually shaking the vehicle. And with this adapter here, a two inch to one and a quarter inch, this allows us to be to use this bike rack on vehicles with either of those sizes. So whether you have a different size hitch on your Tesla, this one is a two inch, or if you have another vehicle with a different size hitch, you're gonna be able to use this rack. 
So in summary, you really can't go wrong with the Hitching Post Pro. This is probably one of my favorite hanging style racks. They offer a lot of great features that Thule offers in some of their other uh, bike rack options, some of the more premium tiered ones, without that added sticker shock though, because it's definitely a pretty cost effective bike rack considering everything that they offer you. Here in our test course, we'll start by going through the solid. This is gonna show us the side to side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole, or driving over uneven pavement. Lastly, we'll go over the full speed bumps. We can see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. And that's going to do it today for our look at the Thule Hitching Post Pro 4 bike rack here on our 2022 Tesla Model 3.